Hi guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you 7 ways to fix trackpad not working on MacBook Air. The trackpad is an essential input device on your MacBook Air. It offers precision, multi-touch gestures, and a seamless experience. However, what happens when the trackpad stops working? Not only does it disrupt your workflow, but it can be quite frustrating. In this video, we will explore what to do if your trackpad is not working on a MacBook Air. Follow along. The trackpad on your MacBook Air may become unresponsive for various reasons. It could be due to outdated software, incorrect system settings, peripheral interference, dust accumulation, or hardware failure. Before diving into technical fixes, ensure that you are using only one finger on the trackpad, as using more fingers might cause the pointer not to move due to certain trackpad settings. Also, ensure your MacBook Air is not showing a low battery alert which you can't see. Connect your MacBook Air to an electrical outlet, or connect an external keyboard to see the alert. Dust and debris can hinder the trackpad's performance. Thus, before diving into more time-consuming solutions, turn off your MacBook Air and clean the trackpad with a slightly damp, lint-free cloth. If an external mouse or any other peripheral is connected, it might interfere with the trackpad, causing the touchpad not working on MacBook Air issue. Disconnect all peripherals and restart your MacBook to check if the trackpad is working. You need to check if your MacBook Air's software is up to date. Running an outdated OS can cause compatibility issues with hardware and result in situations such as trackpad not clicking on MacBook Pro or Air. Here's how to check for updates. Go to Apple Menu's System Settings. Next, navigate to General Software Update. If there's an update available, download and install it. Some people prefer light taps, while others like the tactile feedback of a click. If you have been using tap to click, make sure the force click option is disabled as it requires a firmer press. Here's how to do it. Navigate to Apple Menu's System Settings. Go to Trackpad and toggle off Force Click and Haptic Feedback. There is a possibility that custom configurations in Trackpad settings could cause unresponsiveness. To revert back to the default settings, do the following. Navigate to Apple Menu's System Settings. Go to Trackpad and toggle Tap to click. Under Scroll and Zoom, ensure Natural Scrolling is selected. These two settings should reset your trackpad to its factory settings. Resetting NVRM, Non-Volatile Random Access Memory, or PRAM, Parameter RAM, can resolve a plethora of issues such as trackpad not working on MacBook Air. Note that NVRM PRAM reset is only possible on Intel-based Macs. As on Apple Silicon Macs, NVRM is reset automatically. Check out our dedicated guide on how to reset NVRM, PRAM, and SMC to find out more. Apple Diagnostics can help identify hardware issues, including problems with the trackpad. First, identify if your Mac has Apple Silicon or an Intel processor by going to Apple Menu, About This Mac, and then follow the corresponding steps. Press and hold down the power button on your Mac, on laptops with Touch ID. This means pressing and holding the Touch ID button. Then keep holding the power button until your Mac turns on and displays startup options. Once you see the options label, release the power button. Now press and hold Command plus D on your keyboard. Turn on your Mac and immediately press and hold down the D key on your keyboard as your Mac boots up. Then release the key when you see a progress bar or when prompted to select a language. If holding the D key doesn't initiate the diagnostics, try pressing and holding Option plus D instead. If neither method initiates the diagnostics, refer to Apple's guidelines for using key combinations at startup. During the diagnostic process, you may need to choose a language, and it's essential to have an active internet connection. You can connect to a Wi-Fi network using the Wi-Fi menu in the upper right corner of the screen. That's it for today, guys. Resetting the trackpad can resolve various issues like trackpad click not working on MacBook Air. However, you can only reset it by resetting NVRM, PRAM, or SMC. If none of these steps resolves the issue, it might be a hardware failure. In this case, it's best to contact Apple support or visit an Apple authorized service provider. It's crucial not to attempt any hardware repairs on your own, as this could void the warranty and potentially cause further damage. For further reading, we recommend checking out our article on how to fix the keyboard and trackpad not working on MacBook Pro issue. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more intuitive guides, tips, and Apple news. This is Mike here. See you next time.